Hi guys, Queen here. I'm back with a brand new video. I was gonna say reaction. I'm normally used to saying reaction, to be honest. Like, I say it a lot. That my mind's always like, okay, let's do this. Let's do the reaction. It's not actually a reaction today, guys. Um, I did recently release a new style vlog that I haven't actually tried on my channel before. So be sure to go check that out. I'll leave it right there for you guys to go click it. Hopefully, I'm pointing in the right direction, hopefully. Um, but for the, before we start this, let me drink some boba because I bought two and you know, don't judge. That's how I live my life now. Drink two boba? Well, no. I was bored and I wanted to, so. Nobody wants it. I'm gonna say. Wow, that was a lot of boba that just came up. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Honey jasmine. Okay, by the title of this video, you guys know, ah, it's the first Q&A that I'm doing this year. Oh my god, wow. Crazy to say that. So I did a Q&A last year in December, so I thought, why not start 2020 with a Q&A, and maybe I'll do a Q&A in maybe the summer or spring. But I have my little questions in here and um <laughs> my other box is currently occupied with candy so i'm using one of my old uh samsung boxes that i have so let's do this let's do that let's do this oh okay blue we'll, we'll use these ones first oh well, how many are there three do not look okay I'll go this one. So the first one is any one of Kirok stories. Ooh, there is a one of Kirok story that I actually have never told you guys, or I have told you guys. I don't think I ever really told anybody about this, except for my parents really know this. And a, about two of our friends actually know this. Um, back in 2015, oh my god, it's crazy to say that. 2015, one of Kirok came to New York. And that was when, like, when it was PlayStation Theater, I think it was called back then. I think it was PlayStation Theater that was what it was called, or Best Buy Theater. Was Best Buy Theater then? And now it's PlayStation. I don't know. They changed the name, so it's like, I don't know which one is which now. <laughs> My going bonkers. So, way before then, um, like, before the concert even started, I think a week before the concert started, I bought their album, and... Let's just say, maybe that was the most wrong decision i ever, ever done in my life. Um, and, like, this was only, like, a one-time one, in, one time thing that happened. And so at the concert, I didn't know I saw a lot of Japanese people with white wristbands. And I didn't know what it was for. No one really actually, like, told us what the wristbands were for. And, like, I saw some people in the mosh pit, to be exact, that they had wristbands on with that were white. I was like, what is that for? I didn't know at the time. Um, but at the time, the white wristbands meant that if you bought the album, you could stay after the concert and meet them. Let's say that was the most wrong thing I've ever done in my life. I was like, damn, I should have waited to buy the album. But you know, me being a fan, and at the time, I didn't have Spotify or anything. I had um, iTunes. But of course, knowing you have to pay for stuff, it's like, okay, yeah, great. Um, so I bought the album, just so I can listen to the song, so I know what I'm getting myself into. But that, back in the day, I didn't really use YouTube either, like, a lot. I would use it, but I wasn't, like, so crazy, crazy about it. Um, now that I am doing YouTube. Um, but yeah, that was probably the most wrong decision ever that I've ever done in my life. Um... Like, back in the day, I was like, okay, yeah, I didn't really care as much. I was like, I just got into them, too, and it's like a few months later, after I got into them, I saw them. So it's like, I was still, like, in the process of being, like, process, <laughs> process of getting into their music and becoming a fan fan. Um, so I didn't really care much at that time. I was like, okay, that's cool. Now I wish I could have done it, to be honest, so I could have been, like, right there. But, you know, maybe in the future I'll meet them or something. Maybe we'll do, like, a VIP thing for them. I've always wanted to do a VIP thing, to be honest. Um, maybe that'll be a dream for you if they come next time. Maybe I'll do VIP. 
But yeah, that was the most wrong thing I've ever done in my whole entire life. And let's just say, oof, man, why did I do that? So that's one of my one of rock stories, guys. And don't judge me. I did not know at the time. And I wasn't like a crazy fan of like I am now. Oh man, why did I do that? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what was going through my little mind that time. Me being, what? Me being 15 at the time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was going through my mind. Okay, have you met anyone famous? I like how it goes from be almost being close to meeting Wano Hirok to now talking about people who are famous. Um, yes, I have met a few people who are, have been famous, or are famous currently. Um, I was very close to meeting two guys from the Ballistic Boys, and that was even before they actually became part of the Ballistic Boys. They were actually in Junior Exile, and I saw them in Boston, and I met all the other guys except for four of them. And the two of them, two out of four, were in that group that I couldn't go see because, guess what? So many girls were surrounding them. Like, literally, we were lucky enough to actually meet the other half of Junior Exile, to be, like, exact. Like, it's cool that... Um, Ayuma, who I met, actually just released his EP, so I should probably leave it down below for you guys to go click that because it's awesome. And you know, I love him, he was really talented, and everybody else who was in Junior X side was super talented, so I hope maybe something in the future will go on with them. Uh, I met Juno Flo last year. He was very nice. Fangirled when I met the Philharmonics, like, I fangirled so much because, like, when you grow up, like, watching them, I watched them on TV for the sing-off, and it was just so amazing to see them, like, actually in person, and I actually told them that I was a fan, and it, it was so cool, and they were amazing, they were so nice, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> like, I was so lucky enough to meet them, and I got a t-shirt signed, too, that's in my drawer. I haven't worn it that much. June Korean was the first one we went to, and I already met him previously the year before, and... Yeah, I met him at KCON 2016, and I met him the year after. I didn't actually get to meet him. I got to see him perform that time. Um, I met the Philharmonics the year bef year after I met um, year after I saw June Curion, and then I got to see Juno Flo last year. Um, but yeah, I oh my god, I think I met another person. Oh my god, I remember. My life being like, what the heck? I met a lot of people. Okay, I met a lot of people at KCON. Um, I met a lot of my favorite YouTubers, to be exact. I met the one person that I really wanted to meet was Jung Up, but he was nowhere to be found after the panel, <laughs> so I couldn't find him. Um, but I found Edward, Amelia. I was a super big fan, and I was very lucky to meet him. And, like, I love how everything, like, happened after KCON, like... Because, you know, you have KCON Times, and it was, like, after the times were starting to end. So, like, it was after the convention ends um, that I met up with a lot of these YouTubers. And let's just say, I was so lucky that time. I should have done a lot of lottery ticket, for God's be sake. I should have done a lottery ticket. Because, um, like, it's weird. The same day, I saw ATs. I saw SF9. <laughs> and then I we also ran into two of my favorite... Not my favorite, my mom's favorite YouTubers. Um, KTV, DKTV. Um, it was random, because I was with her at the time. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, am I suddenly seeing everybody all of a sudden? <laughs> my luck didn't come to Jung up, but you know. Uh, those are just a few people that I have met. Haven't really met like anybody famous, famous, famous yet. <sighs> Maybe talk about one day. I don't know yet. What do you normally like to do after work? Uh, normally what I like to do after work is eat because <laughs> um, I'm like I work early in the morning and I get hungry for lunch so I go eat and then I go home and then I exercise or I do video like I'm currently doing now if you could go anywhere in the world where would you go oh I've always wanted to go to Thailand my friend went to Thailand without me but that was for um for a program and <laughs> she brought me back some stuff and let's say thank you so much I love her so much I begged her to bring me something back I was like please bring me something back and she did she listened to my words and I do want to go with her um maybe next year she did get a job so hopefully we can plan something and maybe go next year to New York for four days so well three days to be exact but it ain't cheap so yeah, most of my money's going to that, and 
Then we'll be setting up, maybe going somewhere. I don't know yet. Uh, I do want to go to Thailand. I did want to go to China, but now, nah, not now. Now with the whole entire virus stuff going on, not now. Um, I do want to go to Japan. I want to go to Korea. I have friends in Korea. <laughs> um, a friend that I was really close with, who he actually lived here um, for a few years. I think what, like 15 years? It was a very long time, and I've known him for like what, almost four or five years. And he went to he went to Korea in like first week of June. I can't believe he missed my birthday. Like so sad. So sad! It was very sad without him. It's still very sad without him because it's like almost been a year since he's been gone and we don't know how he's doing. We hear about him once in a while so hopefully he's doing fine. That's that. Getting me stick together. What was one of your favorite experiences in high school? Ooh, I think back Take it into senior year. Senior year was great. It flew by really fast, though. Um, even my best one couldn't agree with that. It, like, flew by really fast. Um, um, I think it was history class. History class was probably one of my favorites. Being, like, one of the only girls out of, like, nine, eight or nine guys who I was very familiar with um, as I went through school with them. And some I went through middle school too with. I think two or three of them I went in through. I think there was three of them actually that I went to middle school with and they went to the same high school. So being the only girl, there was another girl, but she was hardly there half the time. <laughs> and I know why because, you know, stuff. I was friends with her, so. But being, being a teacher's favorite, yeah, it was great. So high, high school was great for that. Just being a teacher's favorite. Yeah. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Why does this bring you back to the question that they always ask in senior year? Where do you see yourself in two years? Where do you see yourself in three years? Where do you see yourself in four years? Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, ooh, five years. I haven't really thought about that, actually. <laughs> so ever since, like, high school, like, what, two years ago? Um, yeah, where do I see myself in five years? Hmm. Well, I think... If I see myself in five years, I probably would be dating somebody by then. Maybe, maybe not. Nobody wants to date this girl. Sad. I'm very sad. Single woman. Who knows? We live our lives in the single world. So, you know. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll be dating somebody. Five years, I would make it... Toast 2025. Why is that bringing back to my BuzzFeed question? Yo, you get married in 2025. Oh, that'd be great though. Maybe being married around that um time would be great. Um, I'm in no rush to get married to be honest. Um, rather date somebody, date for a few years before the whole entire marriage thing comes in hand because like it'd be good <laughs> to just date a person for a very good amount of time. My parents probably dated for, what, a few years before they got married? So. If I would be either 24 or 25 at that year, which I definitely think is fine getting married around that time or being in a relationship at that time. Perfectly fine at that age. I don't mind any time after that. Um, Depends on the age of the guy. <laughs> Anybody seven years? <laughs> seven years apart from me is perfectly fine, apparently, to my mom. So, anybody seven years apart is perfectly fine. Of course, you'd have to see, but, you know. Um, but maybe maybe marriage at the time, or dating somebody at the time. Um, that's only really where I see myself from that point of view, for dating-wise. Um, definitely maybe YouTube would be another thing. I'd probably have more viewers at that time, um, like, for viewers being interested to watch me. Watch me. So, you know, I definitely think YouTube, work, I'd probably find my place in work, too. So, work, maybe dating, marriage, marriage relationship or something, a uh, relationship involved, uh, maybe travel a little bit. Um, hopefully, more later in the years, I'll be able to travel more. So, you know, that's where I see myself in five years of those stuff to be involved. Um, do you know any languages? 
Uh, I wouldn't say I know them fluently. I do know a few languages, but not fluently. Um, I've started to actually learn more, too, and... Uh, my mom is Spanish, so I've failed the Spanish. Another great. I swear if my grandparents have to move in with us, which is probably going to happen, actually. Maybe this year. Maybe a little bit into next year. Then... Spanish is what I'll be hearing so much. But I know a little bit of Spanish, not too much. And then I also know a little bit of Thai, Korean. Korean I'm doing pretty good though. Um Japanese a little bit, Chinese a little bit. Um I'm missing language. Crazy thing with me. Is that I know more in my mind. Like if I watch a drama without any English subtitles, fifty percent of the time I know what they're saying. And even like if I'm in public and like I know like off the bat, if someone speaks Korean, Chinese, Japanese, we don't have many Thai people around here. Um, but mo most likely Chinese people, we have a very big community over here. It's starting to grow. <laughs> um, a little bit of Korean community, but more Chinese. So I can tell when someone speaks a language, I know a certain language. Um, I can understand their conversations like 50% of the time. Um, so like, I know more, I just can't speak it very well. Um, so it's always like, <laughs> if I hear something that I know someone like is speaking, then I'll be like, oh, they said this, they said that. And my parents will be like, what the heck are you talking about? I'll be like, oh, they said that. <laughs> but yeah, those are currently what I'm learning, not fluently, but that's what I know so far. And I'm doing pretty good, to be exact. List your top five favorite common Rider series. Oof, that's so hard to be exact, but I can name them. Okay, yeah, I can name them. Let's start from number five. Oh wait, no, can I name them? Oh, that's hard, I didn't think of hard, actually. Okay, number five, Guy. Number four, Zia. Number three, Kiva. Number four, Wizard. Number five, Dino. That took, that was a while to say, think about. Because, like, I love so many. But, like, Deno was really one of my favorites. I loved Kiva, too. Oh, gosh, she's so great. Um, Wizard is still one of my favorites to this day. And you can't beat the old Heisei Riders, to be, to be exact. Zero One is good. Just not up there yet. I have to finish it first. And I'm, I'm, I'm slightly getting caught up with everything. Um, but, yeah, those are currently my top five. The last question. If you could take one friend with you on a trip, who would you take? Why would this have to be the last question? Because that's too hard for me. I have too many good friends. Um, could I just say all of them? <laughs> um, but if I were to really take one person with me, you would have to think very carefully about that. Yes, I got, like, three best friends. Which is very hard for me. My best friend and best friend, who knows all my secrets... My best friend, best friend, bestie sister knows my secrets. <laughs> my best friend who's like an older sister to me, aka Sammy, I love you. Hi, if you're watching. See you in New York. <laughs> uh, but yeah, text me anytime, girl. <laughs> but yeah, I think, hmm, it depends on where I'm going. If I'm going to an event, I would take Sammy. Because, one, she takes pictures, and she's really good at it. And I take pictures, too. And she could be, like, my photographer or something, and I'm fine with that because she's amazing. She's amazing, and I love her so much. She's, like I said, she's, like, an older sister to me, and she's way older than me. But she's so sweet. And we get along very well. Um, if I were to take my other best friend, Emily, then huh, that would be without her boyfriend. <laughs> her fiancé, to be exact. Um... Then, oof. I don't know where we would go, actually. Paris? 
Would a boyfriend allow that though? <laughs> it's a city of love, we would go without him. Hmm. I think if it was somewhere that wasn't an event, if it was just like a fun day out, then yes. I would take my other best friend, Jasmine, to Thailand. There we go. If there's a different type of styles, if I were to take Sammy though somewhere like, um, what, Japan? Or Korea. Let's say, okay, Korea. Then I would take her. <laughs> it's like each country is different. I would take a different person with me each country. I would take my mom to Japan. Where would I take my dad? Ecuador? I would take my dad to UK. Or no, I would take my dad to Europe. That's where he wants to go. He wants to go somewhere in Europe. I don't know where. I don't know the name. So it's, it's a name I've never heard before. So it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. So I would take my dad to Europe. I would take Jasmine to Thailand. I would take Sammy to Korea. I would take my mom to <laughs> take my mom to Japan. Take my dad to UK. I would go. Well, the only question that's not in there is China. <laughs> there, I would go to China. <laughs> that's the only country that hasn't been in my mind and has been left out with no one. So, future other China. Relationship other, China. There you go. That's the only one I can't think of. But if I went to an Indonesia, I would take home to our family. Including Sammy. That sounds more right. Okay. But that was currently all the questions. It's a very, very long Q&A. But I guess it's fine. It'll be a nice, fun little chit chat. But I hope you guys liked it. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free, feel free to leave them down below or you can also send me a message about it. And yeah, I hope you guys like this little Q&A and I'll leave my social media down below so you guys can go click it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.